Hey guys, so real talk here. I find myself constantly getting asked the exact same question. Why can't you just be happy? Now believe me, if I could answer that question, I totally would. But I have no answer to this goddamn question and it frustrates me probably just as much as it frustrates everybody around me. Other people have said things to me like, you're just in a funk and it'll pass. Really? I've been in a funk for 10 years of my life? I call bull****. Like, total bull****. I want to talk about the difference between depression and sadness or unhappiness. Because they are totally different things. Honestly, I believe that the word depression is so horribly misused. It isn't just unhappiness. Unhappiness is a feeling of just not being happy or not being pleased or satisfied with the outcome of a certain situation. It might be a symptom of depression, but honestly, it is not the same thing. Depression, on the other hand, is a mental illness with such symptoms as sleep problems, whether it be too much sleep or too little sleep, sleep problems, problems with one's appetite, low energy levels, negative thoughts, concentration problems, and feelings of uselessness, helplessness, hopelessness, and maybe just feeling numb. Now, there are some people that have depression who fake happiness, and honestly, I did this a lot in high school and there are rare occasions where I'll still do it because I don't want to cause concern or worry any of my loved ones. So on the times where I'm at an all time low, sometimes I'll, I'll fake my happiness because I don't want to worry anybody. However, this has an opposite effect because my friends and family know me really damn well and they know when something's up. And because of that, when they find out that I'm faking, it causes them to worry more, which is what I was trying to avoid in the first place, but it just has an opposite effect than what I was aiming for. Another thing some people with depression will do is self-harm, which sadly, I will admit, uh, I have done in the past. In high school, when things were super bad for me, I used to self-harm, and I remember a specific incident where one of my classmates pulled my hoodie sleeve down because when it was found out that I was self-harming the one condition was that I had to wear long sleeve hoodies and uh, one of my classmates grabbed my wrist and pulled my hoodie sleeve down and showed my entire class my marks and said that you know why didn't I just finish the job and I figured you know what if people want me gone that badly then why should I stick around and I started to believe everything they were saying, and it worsened the self-harm, and it happened. It's something that I haven't done since, but it's something that happened. Another reason for me self-harming was whenever I would self-harm, while I usually felt numb most of the time, the feeling of harming myself made me feel something other than being numb. And it sounds really sick and really twisted, and I hope that I'm making sense, but it's true. So just something to consider here. Um, before you get on somebody's ass for having depression, before you start harping on them and getting irritated with them for feeling this way when everything on the outside seems perfectly fine, maybe it's a good idea to just take a step back, take a breath, and just try to understand. Maybe doing a little bit of research if you're not entirely sure or you don't completely understand. Maybe doing a bit of research would help, who knows. But just take a breath and, you know, just at least try to understand. Because if someone with depression chooses to open up to you and talk to you about what the heck is going on and you just walk away and abandon them, not only would that be super devastating, but now that person might think somebody who I really trusted and thought I could open up to and you know I thought this person cared about me they walked away when I tried to talk to them about something that is really affecting me and you know what maybe they won't want to open up anymore who knows but if it was me and somebody did that to me I wouldn't want to open up anymore because if they didn't want to listen, then why should I continue talking? So at the end of the day, I think the best advice I can give to someone who has an individual with depression in their life is to just try and understand 
and love and support is the best thing you can give to someone with depression. Just be there for them, love and support, it's, it's the best thing that you can give and the best thing you can do. Anyways, um, yeah, that's all I really wanted to talk about for today, you guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like my videos. Keeping awesome, and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.